Hey YouTube, this is Camp Glower One here. And today, this is just a quick, short video. I just got done giving a cat a bath in my tub. <laughs> this is a new neighborhood cat. Um, he um, has just started coming around and eating. I feed several ferals, and as everyone knows, I do the trap, neuter, and release program. I volunteer for the people that want to help the the con control this. Bob, what do you call it? pet population? I sound like Bob Barker. Anyhow, um, this one, um, he's a good-natured little cat. Did not bite me, thank goodness. Woohoo! Anyhow, he um, he's a boy. Um, he's due to get neutered at the end of this month, and I started calling him Moo because he's kind of black and white, looks like a cow. I've never. <laughs> he doesn't have any any black spots, but he's just got this. Moo, look up here. Give me a look. Look, look at everybody. Say hi. Say hi. Hey, look. Hey, look at me, I'm clean. He had some stuff all over his back, and I don't know what the deal was, but um, I washed him really, really, really good. And I wouldn't really suggest people doing this. Um, I've done this several dozens of times with uh, feral cats and stuff, and that get into fights and stuff. And he looks like he's probably had some kind of little fight right there at one point in time. I, I uh, soak cats in Epsom salt which is the stuff right here, this Dr. Teal's. It works really, really good. Um, the salt helps heal any wounds that they might have. And so um, so this little guy, you know, I just, uh, he, he wasn't too bad in the tub, but you know, as with any cat, you know, if you don't know them too well, you have to be very cautious because a cat bite can really, really hurt. Um, I've gotten bitten by one stray one time. It was just a young kitten and it was kind of sick and I, I had to go to the emergency room and um, get some uh, antibiotic. So um, I just wanted to show you um, little Moo today. He's, I, I should have taken a before picture. You know, I didn't want to take it during because, you know, he's hollering and I'm kind of having to holler back because he needs to know who's boss. <laughs> so, but he's, he's kind of got cool markings. Look at the little marking on the back of his head here and then his ears and you can kind of see his face. Moo, look, put your head up. Look, you can lick yourself in a minute. Look, say hi, everybody. Come on, say, no, I don't want to, because I'm hungry. I'm trying to clean myself off, dry myself off, and then I'm going to feed him. He is really skinny, as you can see. He's just, it's kind of skin and bones. I don't know where he came from. Um, he's probably just one of the several in the neighborhood that one of my cats brought home, because my cats have a tendency to do that, especially my cat, Mocha. She likes to... Um, bring home uh, wayward stray, stray, stragglers or <laughs> strays or whatever you want to call them. But, um, but yeah, he's due to get fixed um, at the end of the month. So hopefully he'll stay around and everything. And um, I get the services, you know, for free. So which it really helps because when I first started doing this, I, I paid for 17 um, cats to get spayed and neutered. So, so he's just going to be another one of the group, I guess, you know, he, he knows there's good food. I feed them dry food in the mornings and they get um, a can of uh, wet food to share at nighttime with all of them. And there's around eight or nine of them that I feed every night. So anyhow, I just thought I'd share. He's trying to do his thing and get dried off. I'm going to use the hair dryer in a little bit, maybe trim his toenails just a little bit if he'll let me. I don't know. I'll have to burrito him up so he doesn't scratch me. Or try to take a, a chunk out of my, my wrist or my hand or whatever. So, all right, well, I hope everyone's having a good day, and um, say hello to the new little guy in the neighborhood. I call him Moo. <laughs> so, all right, everybody take care. All right, bye-bye.